In today's demonstration, I want to show you one of the new features that is available at no extra cost for customers that are on a maintenance plan with Infor for Infor CRM. And as long as you're on version 8.3 update 04, there's going to be a new feature called Contour included for allowing you to see your accounts on a Google map or a Bing map. And you set that up, which I'll show you as we get further into the demo today. Um, and it geocodes all the addresses in the InforCRM database. So <clears throat> all the addresses for all the accounts and contacts uh, are geocoded when you initially turn on the integration. And then using a job manager job, it automatically every 15 minutes uh, looks for any addresses that have been added to the database and it will geocode those for you. So it is fully automatic and happening in the background as you add new records into the system. And also to set it up, there's a, a very useful step-by-step -step guide. If you click on the Infor CRM help and go to web client help and then search for contour, it does bring up if I spell it right here, it will bring up directions on how to implement this and configure it. So I found this very helpful and very easy to get it set up. I choose uh, chose Google, uh, but you could also choose Bing, and both of them have um, a free version that might work just fine for you, but you'll have to investigate which one makes more sense for you, uh, and it depends on how many addresses it geocodes in a given month. Okay, so if we go back into Infor CRM 8.3 update 04, the contour feature added on the nav bar under sales, a new tab called, or a new entity called places. And places is where you can add in common addresses where you may start from or that you want to have included in any of your uh, driving directions. So I added my home, because I do start out my day from home once in a while. And then I added my office address because I definitely start out from the office from time to time. So I get to use these stored addresses as one of the uh, places that's geocoded when I start to build my maps. So let's go back to Abbott Limited here. And one of the simple features it adds is the ability to show on the map. So I'm on Abbott Limited. I click Show on Map. And here they are with a little push pin. And if I click on it, it shows the phone number and the account manager and their address. And then the other option we have is to add what's called a temporary place. So if you knew that you're going to be at some other address today that's not one of the records in CRM, you can type in a temporary address and then we'll add that as a push pin on your map and give you driving directions from that temporary location to Abbott Limited in this case. Okay, so then we'll go back to Abbott Limited and click on Accounts Nearby. So if I click on Accounts Nearby, a new entity comes up and it shows me all of the addresses and accounts in the system that are within, in this case, 10 miles of Abbott Limited, which is the record we started from. So it shows me that there are 11 accounts within the 10 mile distance filter that I applied. But if I drop it down to five and click search again, now we're down to just four records. Then if I filter that even further and say I just want to show customers and then search, I've got two customers within five miles of, of Abbott Limited. So we can also expand that of course and choose any other uh, type as you, as you want or you can eliminate the type altogether and then it's just going to search for all the records of any type because uh, I didn't I didn't specify a type or subtype. But in this case, it returned 37 records. I don't really want to see that many on my map, so I'll just say 10 uh, and tell it to filter that down. Now from here, I can create an Infor CRM group, so I can actually have a group now called 10 miles from Abbott and create that group and that becomes one of my groups now that I can reuse anytime I want to as you can see here. So we'll go back to accounts nearby and then I'll say display these 10 on the map. And you can see my map filled up with a bunch of push pins 
and all the account records closest to furthest are showing on the screen. And as I hover my mouse through the list, you'll notice on the right they're turning yellow as I'm highlighting certain ones. And then I can also say, well, if I don't want to go to these two or don't want to see them, I can uncheck the ones I don't want to see. Maybe I don't want to see that one. And we'll get rid of this duplicate here. And then say, get directions. And upon doing that, it creates a logical driving route for me to get from Abbott Limited, number one, where we're starting, all the way down to the last one in the list. Now, you'll, you'll also notice that if you drag one of these, let's say number seven, we'll drag it up to number two, the driving directions map changed. So it's going to take me from Abbott, where I started, and then to number two, Fife Technology Service, because that's who I told it where I want to go first. Now, that's probably not a very logical driving route, but just to show you that feature is available there. I also have the ability from this map to view the record um, from here in CRM. So if I click on Midwest Distribution View Record, you'll notice in the background that it changed me to the Midwest Distribution Corp account uh, record in CRM. Now you can also do the proximity uh, searching feature and the distance searching feature on contact records. All of the addresses in CRM are uh, geocoded, and so I can either use an account address or contact addresses. So you'll notice in this case it brought up a bunch of contacts from Abbott Limited first, and uh, probably not a very logical thing to do, but you do have this capability if you want to use it. Now, the other thing I can do is filter this down to just an, uh, a contact type, for example. Maybe I just want to see my decision makers. And so now I've got a much smaller list if I want to go visit all the contacts who are decision makers um, in my CRM database, then display those on a map, which it will do. Okay, so back in CRM, you'll notice that I can start from either an account or a contact or from these places. And you can add these places over here on the nav bar on the left. And so I typically start out either from my home or from my office. So I added those as addresses into the places area, which makes them available to me as a starting point whenever I'm trying to come up with my driving route for the day. All right, so in the background, there are a few uh, administration things that you do. And it's very helpful that Infor has included in the online help um, information on how to set up Contour. So if we set search for Contour in the online help and click on configure, it does walk you through all the steps to set up the simple integration. It took me about 15 minutes to do it. I chose Google Maps. Uh, it gave me back an API key that I added into Infor CRM. And then that, that started the address geocoding job that's running back here in, in Infor CRM. And so that's one of the job manager jobs um, that's running in the background. And any new addresses that get added after this initial geocoding of my whole database, it will catch any new addresses that either got imported or added in by your users. So there's no maintenance to keep this thing up to date. It's doing it all automatically in the background. And then finally, for your users to be able to use what I just showed you, they do have to have the contour role added to their username, their login in CRM. Most users have at least the standard user role, but you'll have to add the contour user role to anybody that you want to release these screens and features I just showed you today. So that concludes our demonstration of the new contour searching, driving directions, geocoding, functionality. It's no cost to anybody that's uh, on a maintenance plan with Infor CRM, and at least on 8.3 update 04, you'll get this included at no cost. Thanks for watching.